Hi, my name's Ethan Lawrence. This is Jesse Leach from Kill Switch Engage. Hi, I'm Scotty Wartooth. Hi, my name's Sean Smith. Hi, my name is Deshaun Fever. This is Ryan McCombs from the band Soil. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Luigi Cage and Lash LaRue. Hi, my name is Matt. Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm from Heavy Metal Therapy. We are a CIC based in the UK. You are listening to the Chronicles of Podcast. Hello everybody and welcome to the 136th edition of the Chronicles of Podcast. And these right here are the Chronicles of Heavy Metal Therapy. It is I, Jamie, and joining me as always this week. As always, this guy here. Oh yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Tom's here. Uh, who fucking hates bounties. <laughs> for those who are unaware of why mentioned by I hate bounties. Jacob from Record the Remains, I think, took it a little bit hard uh, at the fact that I called them the cold play of chocolate. Uh, so I will respond. Uh, I won't do it publicly. Well, that's just a lie. I am going to do it publicly, but not on the show. Um, so, yeah. Have you seen these videos of Arnold Schwarzenegger voicing over or singing on things or any... Have you seen all these videos that keep popping up everywhere? And I, I do not, I do not get or understand why people find this shit funny. I think I know what you mean, and yeah, I, I didn't get it either. I don't understand why all of a sudden Arnie is now everywhere, and why oh. he is now singing the Ducktales theme song, why he's now making dinosaur noises, and you know, so on and so forth. It's kind of odd, and I, I don't get it. Am I too old, or? I I don't quite understand what Arnie's voice has to do with anything other than Arnie, really, to be honest with you. Um, I think it probably was one of those things that someone did it and people found it funny. So then I know this is going to make me so famous making these. I'm going to make a hundred billion of them and run the joke into the ground. Let's milk the fuck out of it. Yeah, because yeah. I watched one where he's playing with dinosaur toys. And one bit did make me chuckle a little bit when a T-Rex is walking backwards. But there was, it, it was just like, uh, 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 back, uh, 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 which I thought was quite, you know. But still, it's not the point here, Jamie. Um, no. It just it just made no sense to me. And I was a bit like, I don't get it. So then all of a sudden, the next video was Arnie singing the DuckTales theme song. And I was like, right. DuckTales. No, it's not funny. It's just like <laughs> you milk, it, milk, it, milk it, milk it, milk <laughs> it, milk it. For some reason, I'm pull, I'm pumping milk from a bar. Is what I'm doing right here. Uh, sorry, milk it. <laughs> and milk the best it, milk <laughs> it. Um, yeah, did not understand it whatsoever. Like I said, it's people trying to be relevant on social media. That is probably pretty much what it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, really funny moment happened at work yesterday. I was, uh, not yesterday, last week, I was just stood on the podium. I think I was looking at the diary. I was doing some work-related stuff. This guy, this, this, the brim of his hat was the largest brim I've ever seen in my life. And it went all the way around like a fucking flying saucer. And he walked in, hands behind his back, like like he was arched over, and he kept looking around loads. And I was like, what the fuck is this dude doing? And he walked up to me and went, excuse me. Um, looked around a bit more and then just went... I don't suppose you do the government test? And then kept looking around. And I was like, I went, the government test? I was like, uh, could you elaborate? And he looked around again and he went, yes, you know, the the dome. And you put your head into a dome and like lights at the house going, the fuck are you on about? And then he went, DVLA, I believe. I went, oh, for car, for driving? Where, where has this government test come from? And I was like, no, we don't. He went, oh, thank you. And then, like, walked backwards while I kept looking around. I was like, that was fucking weird. What the actual fuck? A Tory sitting like secret people to be like, <laughs> investigate why people aren't voting for us this year. <laughs> and some of that, or he's trying to get a driving license, but he's banned from driving for a very good reason. So it was just very, very secretive. Weird. Yeah. And wearing the largest brimmed hat I've ever seen in my life. No one would recognise me if I wear a large hat. It's almost like I was going to eat it and have all the sugary shit inside. <laughs> <laughs> do, you remember that? do you remember that? Plastic fantastic, where the fuck that shit was? What was that That thing on the outside was just the weirdest... Oh, uh, what are they called? Like, spaceships? Flying saucers. Flying saucers, that's it. And they just, but they were, like, were just the most inedible thing. 
to get to all the sugary goodness. So it was like, you must eat whatever the fuck this piece of foam is to get to just sugar. Like pure crystalline sugar. It's not even broken down. It's pure fucking meth. Get it in my face. <laughs> but the thing is, we don't know what they are. They tasted like nothing, but they were Moorish as fuck. Like you could just yeah, have weird. one. But it's but weird. Do you know if I you know like to get to the actual sugar, be like, oh, this is so weird. Buying through this fucking foam, whatever the goddamn hell it is. Well, we ate so much, so much weird shit back in the day. Yeah, we did. And I've never known any other sweet to taste like it. It was just those. Fuck knows what they were. But the real big topic, sort of thing, that kind of blew my mind a little bit was I wonder, if, did you ever do life drawing at school? Um. Oh, when you got to draw like a person or something. Oops. A naked person, might I add. No, we didn't do that. Oh. I did wonder you? if they still did it. Yeah. I wonder if they still did it. That was all. And I kind of think like that sort of shit probably doesn't exist anymore. Probably, like, probably not. I don't imagine. Like, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm just like, no, they probably don't because otherwise they'd probably be a massive yeah. just fucking pedo or something. So you actually had to draw a naked person? I don't. I think it was a bowl of fruit. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, we did but like I'm a flower sure, pot or something, yeah. I'm pretty sure it happened in the school, though. Oh. I swear, I've got a vague recollection of life drawings happening. Don't know why. I was gonna say, I've known it in like American films and all that shit, but I've always thought it was like oh, older imagine. art students as well. It's know. almost like what, like the desperation to be a human statue must be the desperation to be a fucking life drawing <laughs> model. <laughs> you got to have some confidence, though. It's fair play. Yeah, and also to hold a pose. No, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Uh, okay, I'm just going to sit here with your cock out and let everyone draw me. That's Michelangelo, yeah. isn't it? I don't know. I'll just struck a pose. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's a famous statue. Yeah, that I think one. it isn't it Atlas. I don't know. I, I need to stop doing, doing it. it. I don't know why. If <laughs> I were doing a life draw, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd really make it fucking hard. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not a dick. Just the, the, just the actual pose itself. Um, yeah, well, forever. You might as well make it a challenge for them. They're fucking yeah, students. Exactly. They want to pass bit, it. Bit, bit in a comfort way, so I don't have to, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so I'm not there again going, I can't have this much longer. And, like, all right, fuck myself over. Like, okay, my fingers are really aching right now. <laughs> no, but I should be like, get some practice at drawing a sleeping man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> they start having dreams. So everyone's like, when they're struggling to get to the penis, people sometimes people don't have a penis because it's hidden between the legs, but some of them it's like halfway up and semi way up and that sort of thing. Oh, he's enjoying this room. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> cats when they try to chase something, or dogs when they're chasing their dream, like that, wouldn't it? Um, obviously, the download festival just happened. Yes. As well. So if you want to download, it'll be the best time ever. Although it was insanely muddy from the photos, and I'm so pleased we weren't there. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's I, nothing that I could excite me more than wanting to walk through a field in the pissing rain all day. Um, yeah. I think we did that in like 2015, didn't we? Um, we actually went, but then we drove back to yours every day. Yes. Yeah, it was 2015. Fuck yeah, that was oh, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was amazing. That was so good. Um, but this kind of blew my mind a little bit. Secret sets. How yes. the fuck are people going to turn up for them that are a fucking secret? Well, I think they. Announced when it was going to be closer to the time, and then about an hour or two before announced who it was. But yeah, the whole build up to it, I'm like, a lot of people like to plan their day, like who they're going to see. It's yeah, stop doing them. Yeah, I love the fact that I, everyone was so. I think there was a lot of disappointment as to who it was because of the build up to it. No, I know, I know, don't get me wrong, Parfait Driver, a fucking great band, don't get me wrong, but they were like, this is a huge band, the level of Metallica, like, massive band, using hashtags like, we are the Black Parade, so everyone's thinking, oh my god, it's going to be My Chemical Romance and this sort of stuff, and they're like, it's Parfait Drive! I'm like, oh, they played last year. Did they play last year? <laughs> yeah. They did play last year, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. So I think there was quite a bit of disappointment for that one, but there we are. Well, stop calling them secret sets because they're not secret if you're going to keep telling everyone what it is. Do you know what I mean? It makes no well, yeah. sense. I don't, so, I don't know. Just I don't know why they did it. Just put them in. Just yes. put them in the lineup. Like, I, yeah. I don't get it. 
people are going anyway. It's not you're not going to sell extra tickets by going. Ooh, we might have a secret set one day. Like yeah. I think Buster did it for like um, Slam Dunk when they called themselves Year Three Thousand in twenty nineteen. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Well, so that's that's but that's genius. But yeah. at least at least you know they're going to be there and at what time they're on. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I just I kind of think it's I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me, Jeremy. Maybe it's just the age. But like, just put it on. Like, we don't need this announcement of an announcement shit anymore. Like, just fucking. Oh, by the way, part yeah. of drive plan on Sunday. Sick. I'll be there. Yeah, I think it's it's a middle ground, isn't it? If you're gonna have a secret set, have it a secret. Just have them turn up. Word will spread through those fields. I can guarantee it. Like, just have them rock up like Metallica did in because the first or the second download, they just turned up. And no one knew about it. Do that. Not yeah. It's going to be a secret set, but we're going to tell you where, and we're going to tell you what time. It's because they're obviously <laughs> shitting themselves in the game. Fuck, no one actually go. Like, <laughs> yeah. But I did like part of Joe's video where they came off the bus. They were like, "Oh, my phone's not downloading. I can't get this set to download." Like, ah, I just thought it was, that's clever. Like, it was really cool. <laughs> really, really funny. Um, this they just used different sentences all the way downloaded it. That's clever. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I do hope people enjoyed brown load as I kept getting seeing it get called. <laughs> But also, Mark, Mark would yeah, Mark and me got to interview Winston, so I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, in person as well, that would be so, that would have been amazing. Like, that would just been absolutely amazing. So, and hope you enjoyed Dallas, everybody. Hope you had the best time. Um, so, we now look forward to 2000 Trees. So, yeah. we're very excited for that. Um, so, yeah. I guess it's time for Callum's Street Chins. Oh. Do you want to know something? Callum will be able to tell you. And Callum's Street Chins. It's cereal soup. Ooh. Hello. This week's Street Chins come from the set of my own podcast, That Gym Couple Podcast, that I host with my partner, Lucy, where we discuss all things gyms, fitness, gym anxiety, and a bunch of other stuff in between. If you do have the opportunity to come and check us out at That Gym Couple Podcast on Spotify and YouTube, we'd very much appreciate it. I ate like a whole fucking bag of Haribo and now my throat's like... <laughs> um, yeah, keep that in. Um, yeah, sorry, we mentioned Callum is uh, here to treat... Uh, you know what I mean. Um, so, uh, Jamie, what is Callum treating us this week? Until your 36th birthday, you've been a child longer than you've been an adult. Was child under 18? Yes. Or 19? 18. 18, 19, 20, 21. 18 plus 18 is 36, you twat. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, two, three, four. Wait, wait. Five, wait, six. <laughs> Thank God I'm in charge of editing. Jesus no, I won't. <laughs> Christ. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. I feel like I've been here way too fucking long on this plan to be honest, mate. <laughs> we're not even halfway there like, yet. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like, we're not even Bon Jovi. I know. Um, this is fucking nuts. Like, yeah. Matt's ones get me every time, though. I know. Like, what the fuck? Every time I sit there and go, eh? what's he mean? Why is he too clever for us? <laughs> I bet Callum's part of the one percent. <laughs> that TV show, not the actual one percent. You know, what I mean, the like billionaires, that sort of thing. Oh. I meant the one percent on ITV uh, with Lee Mack, where the questions are like logical and stuff, and it's there's not it's not general knowledge. Have you not seen this? No, no. Oh, mate, so good. You can play it online on the app and stuff, um, and it's like a size of di- it's, it's it's how your brain works or something. Oh, it's okay. really clever. So you probably go out on the 100% question. Oh, yeah, the one that everyone fucking knows. <laughs> yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. Um... <laughs> one, two... <laughs> Jamie, you got 15 seconds. Three, wait, four... <laughs> but yes, Callum, you're absolutely right. I've never thought of that before. And now I feel even older than I am. <laughs> I really want to know how his brain fucking works. Yeah, I wonder right. where this shit comes from when that thing asks. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever wake up, reckon he like wakes up Lucy in the middle of the night? It's like, oh my God, I just had a thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I won't put it past him at all, actually. No. 
<laughs> They're right down for the boys. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, I I can't we can't make fun of that because it's just I, a fact. I can't make fun of fucking anything after that disaster. So <laughs> Well, this is very, very true. <laughs> so not only is spelling <laughs> right massively up against you, now maths is too. <laughs> That's never a secret since fucking school. So it's fine. <laughs> what did you learn in Birmingham, Bab? Just how to do a gamble. <laughs> That's all, mate. We don't need fucking need anything else. But never leave. We don't like it. I forgot about that. <laughs> praise you, praise you. Um, he's dead now, isn't he? Michael Gambon. He is. So that's why they obviously have the Church of Gambon. Don't call him a Gambo. I'm not going to repeat myself. Um, I have in the voice to. Anyway, it's been Um What else is Calum Trudeau this week? You no longer see any TV shows featuring smart animals saving humans. That's, That's a, a really good, good point. Book. Yeah. <laughs> Lassie. Oh That's my god. Skippy the bush kangaroo. Skippy. I was trying to remember the name of Um what else was there? Did that be one? Didn't didn't good this gracious me do a piss take called Skipinder? <laughs> yeah, which is absolutely superb. <laughs> Skipinder. Skipinder. Is it like the Punjabi kangaroo or something? Yeah. <laughs> Skipinder. That program was fucking great. Oh, everyone will kick off quite now, though. But... Oh, definitely. Yeah. I feel like there's more. Did was Black Beauty one? Was this, I think Black Beauty might be one like that as well. Wasn't that a book? That's Dickens' book, isn't it? I don't know. I thought Black Beauty was a thing about a horse. I don't know. This is not Dickens. Someone wrote a story called Black Beauty. Is it Dickens? I need to look this up. I've got like know. massive fucking twats on here. <laughs> I've already done that. Don't worry. Yeah, it's very one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Black Beauty. Stallion. Who the fuck wrote it? Oh, Anna Sewell. It's definitely not Dickens. Definitely Fucking not hell. Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. <laughs> I'm just amused by Stallion. <laughs> it's because what we called it. It's like, it was a, <laughs> but Lloyd's Bank obviously just went, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, the only ones I can remember are Skippy and oh, I mean, weird that Kangaroo saves people. Like, what? I mean, it could beat the shit out of you. That's probably much about it. Yeah. Depends if so, it's a good side, I guess. I, I wouldn't even see like, Skippy after dark. <laughs> You know, like, like injected. That's why they get so hangover, so roided up. Fuck off, mate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just in the gym, like fucking doing bench press. <laughs> Fuck mine, the Skippy. Skippy's here. Don't fucking make eye contact. Just don't even look at him, all right? As though he's going to fuck you up, mate. Just don't fucking. Dave, I said, don't fucking look at the kangaroo, mate, all right? <laughs> I know it's a fucking kangaroo doing bench press over there, but if you fucking look at him, he's going to kick your ass. I tell you that right now, mate. Don't even fuck it. Don't... Oh, Simon's fucked. He's... Oh, there you go. See, I told you to look at him. He's beating the shit of him right now. There he goes at the door. See... Nice to meet you, mate. See you later. Don't look at the fucking kangaroo working out. That's all I've got to say about that. You know why they called him Skippy, don't you? Because he never skips leg day. Hey. Sorry. Oh, dude. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> fuck me. Remind me why I do this show with you, please. Can you remind me? I'll so give you all many in. sources of entertainment to take the piss out of me. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, how does I'll... Becky put up with you as well? More importantly, how does Olivia put up with you? <laughs> she's <laughs> just as fucking bad, that's why. That's because she's fucking influenced by you, that's why. <laughs> right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, because last year was just a very, very furry dog, so if there's a fire, you're fucked. Yes, but was it last year that told... People, there was people down a well. Is that what people know? Uh, sorry, told people. Told but you know exactly. You know what I mean. <laughs> I suppose there's a joke or a line or something. What's that, Lassie? There's someone down a well or something. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, I see what you mean. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Ruff, 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 ruff. My wife's cheating on me with Kevin. What the fuck? <laughs> How the hell do you know that, Lassie? Ruff, ruff, chewy. What? <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying to me, dog. I don't speak dog. 
Oh, sorry, mate. Anyway, what I was saying is your wife's fucking, it's fucking Kevin, and there's a kangaroo walking under the gym. Don't go down there, all right? He's quite pissed off that you're saving people more than he is, all right? Skippy versus Lassie. <laughs> what fucking a fucking man. fight. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd love to see that. Who saves more people? Like they're, they're doing the burning building trying to fuck each other up, like trying to get in to save that person. Like, all warfare breaks out. Yeah, the dogs and the kangaroos just never get along and ever again. <laughs> oh, anyway, oh. I don't know. I've eaten too much Haribo, I think. Uh, <laughs> and finally, Jamie, what is Callum Trishner's this week? A one litre bottle of Coke is probably the largest size you can acceptably drink in public. I, I guess you would look a bit weird walking around with a two litre. Yeah, it's like eating yogurt <laughs> outside, isn't it? It's like it's just something you just don't do. <laughs> Come from? It's so true, but what? But you don't do you? It's an indoor food. So, <laughs> I mean, it's kind of... But mind you, people drink bottles of fucking white lining and bollocks like that. That's massive. Well, yeah, that's very true, actually. Lam- people drink Lambrini outside. Is know. that socially acceptable, though? <laughs> that's the point they're making it. I'd love that. Go on, mate. Yeah, what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget that at the end. Fucking that's a bit bottle of coke. Yeah, it's a bit, bit bursty, isn't it? Because the big ones are probably fucking cheaper than the smaller ones. You might they have this point. Which yeah. is which I find even weirder. Yeah. I think it's like 10p more expensive, sorry. But fucking oh, stupid. I saw a video earlier today of like the the cost of things in 1997 compared to now. Oh. Potato waffles in 1997 were 79 pence. They're now £2.35. Uh what else was there? Butter uh, was 65p, now five quid, whatever it is. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, so nuts, man. Like, the, the, and now it, it just created, it's blowing my mind. It, lovely. It was to lend still on my sunshine, which I love that song. Um, song. Reminds me of South Park every time. But yeah, like, the price of shit was like nuts. It was all below a quid. That's mad. Yeah, and now everything's over like two or three pounds. I'd love to know how much, like, your average weekly shop cost back then. Because I'm oh, betting it ain't almost fucking 100 quid like it is now. 30, 40 quid. It's probably fucking crazy. Yeah, it's so nuts, man. Like, I don't want to get political. By the way, I hope people register. Oh, well, if I say it now, it doesn't matter because it closes tonight and it's Tuesday. So, oh, okay. um, <laughs> registered, hopefully, everyone's registered to vote I did. on July 4th. So, um, but everyone's forgetting. I reckon they've picked July 4th because it's Independence Day in America. So, they reckon everyone will get distracted by that. And obviously, the Euros are on. Probably, I'm surprised. So, yeah, but um, yeah, I can't imagine people walking around a big two fuck off lit. Maybe we should start a trend, Jay. Yes, maybe we should start it. walking around a big two fuck off liter bottles in each hand. <laughs> the heaviest fuck, aren't they? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! Really tired arms. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a good one. Screw it. <laughs> I had to drink this two handed, mate. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> one. It, it, it's not. It's not sexy. I know it's not sexy. Mm. <laughs> Callum, thank you so much again for some beautiful and wonderful treatises. Um, we love it, just getting that. We, we love that. that's like everyone's favorite segment, I feel. I think it is, um, more all rightly so. And all before I talk about how fucking atrocious, um, the Euros are, Jamie, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> I wanted to play a little game with you, Mr. Stevens. Oh, god, all right, Jigsaw, yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Be scared. No. <laughs> Do you remember before we've discovered the Jenny Leck and the Cozzy oh, Lives? Oh, no. I've got a list. Oh, God. Okay. So I'm going to read these out and I want you to guess what they mean. I'll right. just see how much you can hate humanity by the end of this. There's quite a few here. I won't do them all. So, um, I've got a severe case of the clausiphobes. Are they seriously using that for claustrophobic? <laughs> Jesus Christ. They, I, I might walk off. <laughs> I might just walk off. No, you're not allowed to walk off. <laughs> this is this. Okay. Okay, go, go and have your dinner. Cook yourself a Jackie Pig. <laughs> right. And you might put some Sally C on it. Salad cream? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Abbreviated salad cream. Sally C. Sally C. Do you reckon someone called Sally? 
with a surname beginning with C always gets confused when people say that. Why did I put me in a jack of potato for? That's weird. <laughs> it's kind of hot, love. I don't want to be in that, to be honest with you. But if you, if you don't fancy a jacket potato, you could have some Gazza, Gazza B on the side. Some what? Some Gazza B. Nope. Some garlic bread. Some Gazza oh, B. Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel ill. <laughs> and I don't think it's the Haribo. But if you're feeling <laughs> ill, maybe you should pop some Paris C. No, mate, this has got to end. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you Make two. it fucking stop. I'll give you two more before you have a nervy bee. No, I'm not having this anymore. Or it's literally <laughs> just put a Y at the end of the first letter, then use the first letter of the second word. No. Or a menti uh, bee? Everyone is getting That's my favorite bin. one. Get in the bin. <laughs> my favorite one out of all these, because it's the most millennial thing in the world. Is it millennial what they are now? Was that us? I don't know. Whatever they are now. <laughs> A holly jobs. An abroad job to holly job. Okay. I just don't even want to react or say anything or talk about it or exist or um, anymore. I Do literally you? stumbled upon this and I was like, Tom is going to hate this with his whole entire being. Yep. I'm bringing it to the show. <laughs> I used to absolutely love you. <laughs> I think that's over now. I'm sorry. This fucking should be. I mean, this could take some serious making up now after making me fucking go through that two minutes of torture. I'll pour you a glass of Savvy B to cheer you up. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> People need to grow the fuck up is what they need to do. <laughs> Just talk like a normal fucking human being. So lazy. <laughs> if, if anything, you're making it harder for yourself. Yeah, because you've got to try and fucking work out what they're on about. Yeah. What are you even saying it? What if you start fucking it up? Oh, God. Oh, I might put some Paris C in me, Jackie P. <laughs> oh, that sounds weird, doesn't it? I, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Just say Jackie Potato. If you really want to narrow it down, just call it a spud. Yeah, even, even shorter. <laughs> oh. Yes, I am Buzz Killington. Yes, I will suck the life out of everything. <laughs> All right, let's go for this ride. More than deserved for that one. More than deserved. <laughs> Jesus, I just... I, I feel like I'm all up in another fucking dimension. <laughs> you wish. Anyway, can I talk about how devastating the fucking Euro, Euros have been so far? <laughs> let's, say, let, let's improve let, your mood. <laughs> yeah, let, let's go from <laughs> shitty fucking, let's change all of the English language, to the fact that Scotland got absolutely thumped 5-1 by Germany on Friday night. Yeah, mate. I was, I've never, I've never. I was so excited for that game. I know. I was buzzing. I was ready for it. I thought, you know what? We've been really good in qualifying. This is going to be so much fun to watch. Germany haven't been on form. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, there we are then. We didn't even score our own fucking goal. They did it for us. What? I didn't know you know that. Yeah, German's own goal. What the fuck? Like it just like we had one shot on target all game. That was it. Wow. We didn't get out of our own half. Like, hardly at all. That, what the fuck happened? That's I mad. I'm quite honest with a man sent off for the 30th odd minute for trying to break some of the ankle. It was just, it was poor. It was just poor, like, beyond belief. And we've got the Swiss tomorrow night, and it's a must win game or something needs to come out of that game. And I'm just mm. like, they smacked me 3 1. So I'm like, well. Here we, I just don't know. Like, I, I was really fucking pumped for this, and already in one game, I've gone, Yeah, I can't be asked anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's when England won the other night, I was like, Is this making ta- Tom even angrier? I feel it might be. I mean, no, I don't like the, the pedestal that all the England fans put England on. You only won 1 0. It wasn't exactly a great game either. Yes, I know we got fucking thumped, but. There was reports that Serbian fans and England fans were fighting each other in pubs, whereas the Munich police in Germany were thanking the Scottish fans for making it the most fun they've had in years. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? And you just there like, you go. well, ooh, obviously there's going to be wankers everywhere, uh, but we were just singing that he's got a football on his head and then put a different a football on p- different people's different heads every time, <laughs> and the Germans were loving it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was just great. Yeah, we just we no as they always say, no Scotland, no party. Nope. 
No Scotland, no party. Anyway, <laughs> um, I love it. The thing is, this happens every time that England are in a thing. They do really well at the start, give people lots of hope, and then fuck it right at the end. So I don't know why anyone have you been really interested? Exciting. Have you been interested at all? Or? When I say everyone, I'm not including myself in that. I'm just an observer from the side. Because I can't give two shits. Fact, I bet he must love it that you don't like sports. Probably, to be fair. Yeah, she must be like, fucking yes. I'm <laughs> making much Grey's Anatomy again. <laughs> Hey, I'm loving a bit of Grace. I'm oh, dear. That one. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> loving a bit of Grace. So, as of next week, guys, we're going to announce we're going to have a new co host. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> and I've still got to fucking edit everything, probably. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I won't be here. <laughs> I thought you were getting rid of me, just sending me the files. <laughs> no. no. Oh, anyway, that's it, does it? So, yeah, so that was. So, obviously, for my birthday. Uh, yes. We got fucking annihilated by the Germans. <laughs> Couldn't have picked the worst time to do it either of your birthday. That's just the way it goes, my friend. The World Cup in 2026, the starts on my birthday. Oh, really? Yeah, it was just fucking cool. So, Don't love know. it. I think it's because it's a Friday in 2026. So, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, but yeah. So it's uh, just one of those things. Birthday was fucking amazing, though, by the way. Um, Good. 10 37 last Wednesday. Um, I had to work all day. Boom. That was shit. And then Emily took me out for dinner um, on the Wednesday night. And she took me out for dinner on the Saturday night, which is really nice. We went to Zaza Bazaar's in Bristol on the Saturday. Oh, mate. Unbelievable. However, there was a table behind us. So we just got there. We sat down. And we're about to go and eat. I went. I went to go get. So Emma's like, "I'll go go get your food, and I'll wait for you." I was like, "Okay, no worries." I don't know why. No one's gonna fucking take the table, but what? still, you know, it's one of those weird things where you just think someone's gonna even though you're allocated that table. She was like, "You go, and I'll wait for you to come back." I was like, "Okay." So I went. I came back, and she was like looking at me. There was security on the table behind us. We're like, "What the fuck?" So I looked at her. She was like, "Her date stitched her up. She's got no money." Ah. I was like, "Wow." First of all, how shitty, but how ballsy at the same time. What a dick. I know. So what had happened, from what Emily had gathered, what had happened was um, he'd gone to the toilet, yeah, um, hadn't come back. So she called her. He went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be five minutes. I'm just washing my hands or whatever the fuck he said. And never came back. And wow. he was taking her out from what I gathered so she didn't bring any money with her. I mean, so she was sat there like, so it's either a really, really good fucking ruse and that she was in on it too, or he generally stitched her up. What? Wow, what a dickhead if he did. Oh, mate, but I forgot how fucking good Zaza's is. Holy shit. I don't even know what it is. Never been there. It's an all-you-can-eat place. Oh, okay. So it has five stations. Ooh, okay. Okay. Bought us in, in squares, and each side has a thing. So it's like Indian, Far East, so Chinese, Mexican, American, British, desserts, drinks. It's, it's amazing. It's like nacho station tacos, fajitas. So then you've got like the, the Chinese have got like noodles, um, stir fries, and then like sweet and sour, the usual shit. And there's what there'd be a couple of sides that have loads of plate bowls all the way around. It's got loads of different stuff in. And I tried this Indian tikka masala, the tikka masala there. Oh my god, I had it twice. It was so unbelievable. There's like burger stations, a little burgers um, in the American side, that sort of thing. And there's like the British side where I don't know why the fuck that's there, but it's like fish and chips <laughs> and pies and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, know. it's it's all you can eat. That you get an hour, amazing. you get an hour and a half, and it's like go. And the drinks are bottomless. You can drink as much as you like. But you were in your fucking element, weren't you? Just that Mexican side. <laughs> yeah. The only Italian bit was pizza. Oh. Yeah. A bit but, odd. But... But, it's, but whatever. Um, Not like there isn't other choices there. It's fine. <laughs> well, just don't, just don't have the British shit. Just have the, but I don't know. There you go. That's just me, I guess. But, and they, they, like, they, like, like, they have like proper chefs that make you stuff up there. And then there's sushi as well, sushi side. Um, it's so fucking cool, man. And you can have whatever Ooh. you want. Yeah. I shall have to investigate. I think you should. It's in Bristol or Newcastle. So I think you might want to go to Bristol because Newcastle's Bristol's a bit closer. Fucking, just a little <laughs> bit closer, yeah. Bit. Um, so me and Emily did that. Um, and on Sunday, I helped her with her garden. She had loads of shit to get rid of. 
Mm. Um, there's like this parasol thing that's attached to like a massive cog, but it was like the heaviest fucking thing I've ever lifted in my life. Um, just so yeah, how to that. So I did that. Um, I realized I'm going first, but fuck it. Um, Saturday, Friday, obviously went out and watched the Scotland game. Uh, my brother and law Ashley came, Martin came, Liam and Emily joined me. Um, I would just feel sorry for them. Just so sorry, guys. Just so sorry for all of it. Uh, because. Ev, there was a, a stag do in there, dressed as jockeys, and the, the, the groom was the horse. And uh, every German pass, every German goal, everything, they were cheering. So when we scored, well, sorry, when Rudiger smashed that header into his own neck, <laughs> I lost my shit. And then I, I screamed so loud that I was like, the comeback is on! Yeah. Even though it was only eight minutes to go. And I screamed straight after, and I was like, oh. For fuck's sake. Just I want to take the piss, but... Yeah, go I was ahead. gonna say I can. I'd imagine you're a bit of an emotional mess during all that. I wasn't emotional. I was just. I was a bit more like, "What the fuck is going on?" Do you know what yeah. I mean? Disbelief, I believe, is the word. Yeah, because we've been so good in qualifying, and then as soon as you get to the big time, no. Nope. Well, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow night will be better for you. Well, can we keep everything cross, please? I will. I'll cross everything. Could you watch it for me as well? Could you watch it with <laughs> Just watch it so we oh, I don't fucking know man. Imagine I, if I, I was the good luck charm if I watch a game you win. Mate, the last time you came to mind to watch a football well, not watch it, but it was on, was the fucking seven one Germany smashing <laughs> Brazil seven one. Yeah. Shit, does that mean I'm good luck to the Germans? But you didn't do it did you watch it Friday? Did I you? didn't, but I kept checking the score. Does that count? I suppose. I'll stay away. I'll stay away Wednesday. I won't even look at anything football related. It's the Swiss tomorrow, so... <laughs> and if you listen to this, we'll probably be fucking battered again. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, anyway, how anyway. are you, my friend? Yeah, I'm good. I'm tired. I've not been sleeping very well. I've been to the doctors today because my system's just... But yeah, I'm getting there. Just very tired. I, I keep getting headaches. Like I, I get into bed, and as soon as I lie down, I get... Bad headaches behind my eyes, and I, I keep waking up loads in the night. I don't know what it is. So I've been to the doctors this morning. They yeah, checked was... my eyes. My eyes were fine. He checked them. He checked everything. He he just said, "Take regular painkillers. Start trying to do something about my sinuses, and hopefully it'll clear." But the usual doctor response, really. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. maybe see it, maybe see an optician or something. Yeah, I'm not doing my checkup yet, but I might just go in early and get. No, it. always go. Yeah, just yeah, check up regardless. Go just go and just come in. Even if you're here, come and see me. Yeah, I think I might do. <laughs> yeah, something's not right. It's getting on my nerves. But hey ho. But other than that, yeah. Uh, since last recorded, I've been to see the kids twice, which has been Fuck nice. I know. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been nice. Um, we've had we've done an interview. Uh, we I've had Father's Day, which was very nice. Uh, sun, sun, yeah, Sunday I. Becky and Olivia took me out for breakfast, which was very nice. I had work in the afternoon, so I just got the morning with them. And then yesterday I went to go see the kids. It's such a weird day, because that day is basically, yeah, your sperm works. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, which is yeah. weird as fuck. Yeah, it kind of is. I always found parent days a bit weird. It's like, yay, my parents shagged. It's it's odd. Yeah, it's a bit it odd. Is odd. Yeah. And then some people don't even get to celebrate because they don't even have those parents or there's something going on or whatever. So I think they're bullshit myself. Yeah, I've no, I've never really understood them to be honest. Although I will never in my life ever tell Olivia that a day is National Olivia Day ever again. Because apparently people's names have days, and I got my friend sent me a post saying because there was a I can't a post on Facebook saying today was Olivia Day, and I said to the kid as a joke it was Olivia Day. You'd think she turned into the fucking queen that day. Everything was like, but Dad, it's Olivia Day. You have to let me do it today. Never telling her that again. Never again. It's almost like you wanted that to happen by telling her. I didn't want that to happen. I thought it was a funny little ha ha moment. No, she milked that shit dry. She's still doing it now. She's like, it's still a, it's still Olivia Week. I'm like, no, it's not. You got a day. Sod. Too cute. I give in. Can't help it. It's okay, fine. it's fine. <laughs> uh, and other than that, I've I've managed to injure myself by stepping out of the house. So yay! I literally stepped out the house and I've done something to my leg, and now it hurts every time I walk. I'm falling apart this week. That's what I've realised. 
Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm just falling apart. I'm old and falling apart. Well, bless yeah. you, mate. Your birthday's not even come up yet. I know, yeah. Not even 40 yet. Yeah. I think we're all caught up, unless you've got anything else to add. Absolutely fucking not. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Brayden from Say We Can Fly. Just letting you know, we've got a brand new merch store out there. Please let me say the and, link. Uh, let me say the link, please. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yes, you can say. You can say the link. Yes. All right. Okay. So the link for the shop. So the link for is... the link for the shop is www.saywecanfly.com. Shop. All right, good job, Seamus. So www.saywecanfly.shop, uh, 10% off if you use the code. Oh, let the me code. say the code, oh, let Seamus. me say the code, please. Okay, fine, you can say the code. If you use the code. The code is The Chronicles. What? No, it's not. The Chronicles. No, it's not. De- it's The Chronicles, Seamus. Yeah, that's what I okay? said. The Chronicles at checkout, all right? You, you get 10% off. 10% off. Yes, oh. yes, they know. They know, Seamus. Okay. I'm just trying to help, all right? Visit www.saywecanfly.shop and use code THE CHRONICLES for 10% off your order. Available at participating Say We Can Fly restaurants and web stores. Some restrictions may apply, but probably not. Stop, Tom's Journal. And welcome to another edition of Tom's Journal. So, Jerry, how many chefs do you think were wrongfully executed in the medieval times because the king's food tester had a food allergy? I mean, these are the types of questions I want to see in my feed rather than those rent due tweets. <laughs> oh my God, what's, what's funny is that's probably happened. <laughs> You tried to poison the king's nuts. No, he's just got a peanut allergy. Yeah. <laughs> crazy, isn't it? So it's crazy. Nuts to think. There was a conversation I had at work yesterday with uh, one of the Optoms, <laughs> Kerry. She was telling me that cherry stones and peach you know, the stones and fruit contain mm. very, very, very minuscule bits of cyanide. Really? So if you chew through it, yeah. Um, wow. I know you could, if you very, 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 very carefully and in very, very tiny bits take, eat poison, you can build up a tolerance to it. Huh. Just yeah, I thought it was kind of crazy. Huh. Um, but for my next trick, I will spend four hours cooking a meal that the recipe says should take me only 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there. Yeah. Yeah. So Bro, I'm telling you, right? The gym has changed my life. It's literally got me to the worst situations. Oh right, well, how so? Well, last night, five guys broke into my house. Oh, shit. What did you do? Well, nothing. I was at the gym. (laughs) Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, it's been a while since I've had a really stupid entry. There it is. (laughs) Fucking hell. Oh, so good. I love it. Whenever I say that, you nod as if... I'm so happy. I wanted this yeah. stupid entry. It's be- better than fucking Sally C or whatever the fuck you were saying. <laughs> <don't you? laughs> better than that. <laughs> Bro, what if like soy milk is just regular milk introducing itself in Spanish? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, we're two for two. Oh, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Oh, that was one of my favourites. Soy milk. <laughs> it's even funnier when you say it in the accent. <laughs> oh, so good. I thought it was genius on the highest level, but it's obviously so dumb at the same time. Oh, fuck it, I love this shit sometimes. <laughs> so, what's really fucking great news is that I finally quit drinking for good. Now I drink for evil. Oh, fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I think you might get a massive run of these, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Wife. Oh grow up! You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Me. Look, I don't need this shit. There are local singers in my area dying to meet me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh fuck it up! Oh, 
Oh. Jamie, in Germany, I can't fucking bring them up again. <laughs> it's the most normal thing that washing machines are placed in the bathroom and not the kitchen where it definitely doesn't belong. So why does this actually make perfect sense? Why are they in the kitchen? That is a good question. Why are they? I don't know. I, I, think, just... that's, I think that's an English thing, because Americans don't either, do they? No. I remember when well, I was at Braden's, this isn't, a, isn't like a utility room. Yeah, I was going to say, it's either a utility room or basement in some movies and stuff, but... Huh. In the bathroom. I, I, I think that makes logical sense to me. It does, because that's where your clothes are. It does make a lot of sense. <laughs> so say a basket, just chuck them straight in. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Some food for thought. The English are weird. Being at a new job is so embarrassing for absolutely no reason. Yeah. Someone said it feels like you're a new character on season five of a show. <laughs> oh, my God, it is. That is exactly what it's like. <laughs> oh my oh. god, that's so funny, it's so true. Love it. <laughs> but what's really meant to me is that some people still wake up in the morning and think, today I'm gonna wear my 2015 school leavers hoodie out in public. <laughs> I'm so glad they weren't a thing when we left school. Yeah, tell me about it. Fuck I think we had that. like a tea a tea towel or something, didn't we? Like, a, like all the faces that you drew. I don't know Primary schools, towels. yes. Yeah. I don't think I ever had that, but I remember them being a thing. Fucking hell. Yeah, I remember having a university hoodie that I bought, and then I was like, why have I bought this? <laughs> oh, you always see loads of people in the don't you, because of uni. Why are you advertising what uni you go to? No one cares. Uh, just to let you know that I am a student. Yeah, it's exactly that. <laughs> yes, I'm an adult. Yes, I spill something on myself every single time I eat. We exist. Yes, I'm married to one. They oh. definitely exist. <laughs> but Jamie, have we tried naming kids after other cheeses or do we just stop at Brie? <laughs> <laughs> Is there a more? Is there more? There's got to be more. Sorry, you froze then. What did you say? I just said, is there more? I feel like there's got to be more. I don't think there is. Here is oh, my I'm daughter, not... Edam. <laughs> and my son, Charlesburg. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cool to be called Gorgonzola. Oh no, yeah. What a great name, that like a mythical creature. <laughs> Come on, Emmental, we're late for school. Oh, that's <laughs> quite cute in a way. Really. I mean, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel I've got the next audience participation challenge once again here. Again? Oh god. Back to movies. Okay. Depluralize a film, and I'll start. Okay. Jaw. <laughs> now, some of these answers are phenomenal. Tree Gump. Okay. The Lion, the Witch, and the Shirt. <laughs> a Dalmatian. <laughs> Snow White and the Dwarf. Just what? A single unfortunate event. <laughs> what boring film that would be that's brilliant oh. yeah that's going in I like that do we send it to you yeah please I like that one okay I'm gonna break into your house toast all your bread and put it back in the bag <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's save time in the morning I guess <sighs> and finally Jamie Hey guys, does anyone know what the fuck? <laughs> and that was another edition of Tom's Journal. I feel like someone needs to do that just to see how people react. Yeah. Just walking. <laughs> and know what the fuck? Anyone? Does anyone know what the fuck at all? <laughs> That would be great at a party, wouldn't it? Just, just, just walk up to people like, do you know what the fuck? No? Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's about getting into schools and talking to young people because, you know, 
I, I know that people can change. Uh, and, it, and it's about talking to people and getting them to understand and perhaps step back from violence and, and prejudice and whatever. And we just need to work together and keep on the good fight there. Absolutely. Hey there guys, we are ecstatically happy to announce that we are associated with the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. The times are changing and with the unfortunate death of Sophie, those changes have made a massive impact for the future. If Sophie was with us still today, I can guarantee what you are doing will still be reaching so many lives of young teenagers, young adults, and those who wish to be as different as possible. So thank you very much. To find out more about this incredible foundation and all the work they do, and more importantly, how you can help, head on over to www.sophielancasterfoundation.com. Mama, mama, my Mr. Stevens. Mama, mama, my Mr. Stevens. Mama, mama, Mr. Stevens. Me, 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 Mr. Stevens. What song is that? Dancing Queen. Is it? Yeah. All right. Well, the Jamie bus is coming yeah. and everybody's jumping to Jamie's San Francisco and Jamie's in the disco. I don't know more of the words, so I'll keep making them up. We're part of her painting, so let's go on with Jamie. That was amazing. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> it's audience. Ha ha ha, tis a patient time. Oh, oh gosh, yeah. Fit. Nice, that fits. Yeah, yeah. So let's all participate, bitch. Everybody participate. We'll participate. Emrin, but I like, fucked it. And that's a mind beer hitch. Let's keep on singing the hiss. And then let's get on to Jamie's participation challenge. I was running out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to participate in Jamie's Participation Challenge. Audience participation time this week. I asked you a simple, would you rather question? Would you rather sing every time you spoke or danced every time you walked? What would Definitely you say? Definitely sing every time I spoke. Could you imagine <sighs> having an argument with somebody? It'd be absolutely <laughs> superb. I think you'll find those glasses do not fit you. You massive bell end. I think you need to leave. <laughs> what I right. love is, I didn't even get a chance to ask you your thoughts this week. You were just like, I'm fucking answering. I'm passionate about this one. Yeah. Welcome to the Chronicles, a podcast. <laughs> We're going to do that anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I completely 100% agree. Singing every time you spoke would be incredible. Because like I say, arguments would just be impossible. <laughs> just... Yeah. Although I'd love it if someone got really angry at something but was dancing at the same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For me as well, because I have to give jobs out over the radio at work. So it should be so much fun. Could you take a patient down to X-ray? It should be so much fun. Yeah, that sounds great. So much fun. Anyway, let's get some audience answers. First off TikTok is Idiotic Productions. And they say, I'd probably dance every time I walked. Since dancing doesn't have to be flashy moves, it could just be pointing your finger in a different way, really. Lazy logic. I like it. Nice. I like it a lot. <laughs> this week's guests have both given us an answer this week. I oh, know. First, we've got Kevin who says, can't I do both? But push comes to shove, I'd probably say sing. Nice. You can do both. We'll let you. And Matt also says, it's got to be dance every time you walk. Imagine the smiles of everyone around you when you have a little boogie. To be fair, yeah. Again, with an argument, you you couldn't pace the room back and forth and have a proper argument. Just pirouette. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, brilliant. <laughs> uh, Ruby Goodwin, dance, because it'd be so much funnier. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> Graham Arnold. This is his words, not mine. Says, I crip walk everywhere due to my injuries and lack of coordination anyway, so. Okay, fair. Yeah, fair. So you might as well sing and get the double header. <laughs> Hannah Jones, both singing and dancing take over speaking, so both. Plus, my ADHD literally prefers song and dance, so. 
Is that <laughs> Wendy Wendy Metzler? I think Meitz, I pronounced that. Meitz, Meitzler. Meitzler. Wendy Meitzler. Both the of them. Ah, okay. Both, of course. In fact, I do. There's a lot of people that just like to do this anyway, I'm, I'm realizing. <laughs> I think Emily... my dad called her a nutter or something. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Emily Hallett, definitely sing. See, you're on to the winner there. Kim Ashton, Christ, what a choice. I could do neither particularly well. <laughs> that makes it even funny if you've got no choice. You're doing it anyway. <laughs> Nina Hewitson, I dance everywhere anyway because of my uncontrollable twitches. There you go. You might as well sing. Best of both worlds again. <laughs> Becky Westwood, sing. I don't have the energy to, to be bothered to dance. And plus my foot just says no. Bah. I'll give you a couple more because these really made me laugh. Martin Skerritt. I can't sing or dance. I'd go with sing as I think it'd be pretty cool calling someone a C-U-N-T in an operatic tone. Absolutely would. Absolutely would. I would prefer to say the C word, but still. I know, I can't say the C word, but yeah. <laughs> And last but not least, PR Brown. I would just completely rage against the machine and break my legs and cut out my tongue. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I might get out of it, PR. I like it, sir. Well, I absolutely love it. But we appreciate everyone that participates in Jamie's Challenge on the weekly. So thank you so very, very much. It's graciously appreciated as always. If you enjoy Jamie's participation challenge, Tom's journal, Callum's teachings, the, I mean, all right, and the interview, then you enjoy the other 135 editions of wherever you get your podcast from, Scoop, Spotify, in those platforms, whether it be Spotify, Google, or Apple, or anywhere else. Uh, mainly, come and follow us on all social media at TCO Pod, or come and subscribe to us on YouTube at The Chronicles of Podcast. Make sure you hit that bell to get notified when new videos are released and comment to your fucking heart's content. It'd be graciously appreciated. All social media at TCO Pod and YouTube at The Chronicles of Podcast. I think Jamie wants to say something. Yeah, I do. I want to say a massive thank you to a few of our friends. First off, every single piece of music you heard on today's edition is brought to you by the wonderful singer-songwriter Matt Roberts. Go check him out all social medias at Matt Roberts Music. Go follow him on Spotify, wherever you get your music from, and give it a listen, because it's beautiful. And of course, you have to say a massive thank you to Mr. Braden Barry and his Say We Can Fly dot shop. Head on over to www.saywecanfly.shop. See what you like the look of. Add that to your basket, whether it be apparel, signed lyrics, CDs, whatever you like. Add it to your basket, add the discount code, The Chronicles, and get 10% off your order. And last but not least, a massive thank you to the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, because they're stamping out prejudice, hatred, and intolerance everywhere and i mean everywhere as i say and i'll say it every week and i'll say it every week going forward this is not a uk issue this is a global issue of people being treated differently because of the music they listen to and the way they dress so help us help them put a stop to it head on to sophie Lan sophie lancaster foundation.com familiarize yourself with that story and share it out with the world so we can bring an end to all of this if you were at the download festival like i mentioned earlier an incredible turnout for the foundation yet again, selling absolutely tons of merchandise. So a massive thank you to everyone that popped in and said hello to the guys and helped them raise as much money as possible. And last but not least, a massive thank you to my beautiful co-host right there. Appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And a big thank you to you too, my friend. Massive thank you to you too. Um, another great addition in the bag. Another one indeed. Kev, Matt, thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition. We appreciate it massively. Make sure you all go and check out Heavy Metal Therapy because uh, they do wonderful things for a wonderful cause for wonderful yeah. people. Um, but as for this week, Jamie, I'm going to fucking butch this. We'll see you all next week for the Chronicles of Peter Tuchern. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Ta-ta.